Hi, this is Dave Phillippe with FabCAD. At first, I'd like to thank you for purchasing our product. When you first open up the program, you're going to come to a start page, and you'll have an option to open a drawing or go to new. So, well, if you're new to FabCAD, you just want to click new, and when you click that, a drawing template will appear like this. Now, if you are a metric user, it'll look, your metric file is here, and it, that will look like this. So, if neither one of these show up, then you need to go to the start and do a browse template and make sure that you open either the FabCAD DWT, which is for Imperial users, feet and inches, and if you're a metric user, you would choose the FabCAD metric. Well, we're going to stick with the regular Imperial for now. So I'm going to open that. Okay. I want to give you a little tour of the screen, show you some of the highlights, and then of course we'll direct you to other training movies that will help you to get up and running and drawing your gates, rails, and fences. So as you see here, we've got our, what's called ribbon panels across the top with different commands, and they're all organized by type of commands, so like draw commands are here, draw line, arch, and all that good stuff there. Layout tools like move, copy, rotate, all pretty much plain English. Here's your text button. You click that to put text on the screen and then just, you just type in your text there. These are your dimension commands. Linear, aligned, angular. Well, let me show you how those work. Let me just zoom out here a little bit. So linear, I just right click and pick this and it gives you a, a command like that. A line is for sloped lines. So I can just right click and pick that line there and it gives me that. Angular gives you the angle and so on. Here's the auto rail ribbon with all the different programs. We'll have a separate lesson on that. Here's your library. We start up yours. It'll have the companies all listed here and then you just click on whichever one you want. There's also a search utility. So when you click this button right here, search, you just type in the catalog number from the company that you're working with. Fortunately, even though we have 10 different companies, they have a unique catalog system. So just type in the number and then the part will come up. You don't have to go through all the folders trying to find it. So I can stop the search here and right click I put in number 120, which is a Lawler 3 inch ball cap. So when I insert his block, there is the ball cap right there. You can insert other designs for other drawings. You can insert photos. You can insert PDFs. Using this command, you can bring a PDF in and convert it to an actual drawing. If it's a scanned PDF not created with a, a CAD system, we have what's called a PDF underlay. You can still bring those PDFs in and they'll just come in as a underlay like an image that you can trace. You have your zoom commands here. Pan, zoom in, zoom out, but we recommend that you get a mouse with a wheel. Wherever I hold my mouse cursor, that's where it's going to zoom to. If I push the wheel down and move the mouse, I pan. If I double click the mouse, it'll zoom extents and it will zoom everything that's on the screen. Other items in the utilities are the tool palettes here. When you hold your mouse over these, it'll tell you what these things are. Tool palettes. We have hatches, we have structural shapes, we have custom tool palette with different things in there. Got mechanical, place where you have well symbols, all that good stuff. You need to just go through and just browse through all that stuff. Here is what's called snaps, where you snap to end point, snap to intersection, snap to midpoint. So for instance, if I wanted to draw a line and I wanted to snap to a midpoint, I pick that and it'll snap to the midpoint of that line there. While we're talking about snaps, down at the bottom we have this automatic snap. You pick out which ones you want to use and it automatically will snap so that when I draw a line or whatever I'm doing, once you hold that mouse near the midpoint of whatever it is, it'll go to that. Or if I draw a line and go near the end point, it'll do that, like so. That's an automatic snap there. Down below here also is what's called ortho. An ortho mode works this way. If I click it on, 
it only draws straight 90 degrees. If I turn it off and I draw a line, I can do any angle. So when you put it on, it's straight. So when you want your kid to get your teeth straightened, you send them to an orthodontist. Ortho means straight. Now I want to show you some basic selection <laughs> techniques for working with different types of work. So if I wanted to erase some of this stuff, I could either highlight it, like so, and click Erase. Or I can click Erase and pick what I want. And then right click what it says here, Select Objects. When I'm done selecting, I just right click and it's done. If I want to move this piece here, I can either highlight it and click Move. It asks for a base point and then it asks for a second point and I can move it like that. Or I could do copy, same thing, I select the objects. When I'm done selecting, I tell the computer I'm done, I just right click and then it asks me for the base point and displacement and you notice it's the same cadence as move except it makes copies instead. So once you learn the, the rhythm of the command, so like here, you know, I want to rotate. I select the objects. You watch the prompts at the bottom. Right click, specify base point. And then I can type in a rotate. If I want to do 45 degrees, I just type 45 and enter, and it rotates at 45 degrees. When you click on any of these commands, if you hit F1 on the keyboard, for instance, I clicked on the trim command, up pops the trim help. So any command that you're in the middle of, it'll tell you everything you want to know about that command. So we have an onboard help system right at your fingertips. So for any command. So here's copy. And I want to learn more about it. I hit F1 and up pops copy. So if you're new to the AutoCAD commands that we have here, just continue on with the rest of the lessons on our training page on our website. And it'll take you down through the AutoRail program as well as all their other commands and other tips and tricks. And also you can go to YouTube and type in FabCAD and stretch or something like that and it'll give you everything you want to know about the stretch command. So resources are the website and training page and YouTube and the F1 key on your keyboard to help you and of course we're here to help you also if you get stuck with any particular item just give us a call or email us.